right? And my name is Steve Romi. From first year BSc Applied Psychology. And on behalf of two efficient student organizations at Chidma Vishwa Vidyapit, the NSS and SEVA, we extend our warm welcome to you all for the inaugural event of Arjavam. Let's commence with a prayer. Let's commence with a prayer. I would like to call upon Avani Prakash and Aparna Vinod to invoke the blessings of the divine upon all of us. Sahanavam, Sahanau Bhunantu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejas Vinavadhita Masna, Mavit Vishavahai, Om Shanti, 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 Hari Yom Shri Guru Pyonamaha, Hari Yom. Thank you so much for the beautiful rendering. We begin the event with a video presentation on Arjava. Peace and rights and the knowledge in, in India, we Indians are privileged to acquire certain uh, duties and rights and the knowledge and access to them are very important. But unfortunately, there are a lot of people who are unaware of their rights and duties, and a lot of the issues and concerns are not being addressed properly. So as Indians, what do we do? Keeping that in mind, the NSS unit of CVV, along with Seva at CVV, is starting this unique public clinic named Arjavam to resolve the issues of the common man. Okay, so Arjavam is to help and support the people who are having social, economic and even psychological problems by leading them to a proper direction and giving them a correct place to connect with people and places. This platform will be a lot more helpful to the people. Arjavam will help those who don't know how to connect and where to connect and also make them open up more. So how does Arjavan work? So in this clinic, we'll receive the issues and concerns from the public via WhatsApp or Google Forms. And every fourth Saturday, with the help of the faculty, the NSCs and SEVA volunteers, we sit together in offline sessions along with the public to um, you know, categorize and address their problems and help them direct them to a higher level. In India, we in now that you have seen an overview, let me give a brief introduction about the initiative. Arjavam is an initiative to educate the public about their rights and duties. It also empowers them to achieve these via awareness, literacy, follow-up, and review. Arjavam is conceptualized as a clinic that acts as a support, gives solace, and follows up on the issues of the public to solve their social, economical, and psychological problems. It will give them proper direction to take their issues to the next executive or administrative level. This is a very unique and most committed activity any university could imagine for the development of the community, especially when the lion's share of students is unsure of when, where, and how to transfer their knowledge. Now, I would like to invite the distinct Call upon our esteemed registrar of Chinna Vishwa Vidyapeet, Dr. Rahul Sharma. I invite our Honorable Vice Chancellor of CVV, Professor Dr. Ajay Kapoor, to the dais.
I call upon Advocate Anup Jacob, MLA of Piruvam Constituency, into the stage. I also request Dr. Rahul Sharma, our register, to present a token of our love to our esteemed guest. I now invite Dr. Vincent M. Paul, retired DGP and former Chief Information Commissioner of Kerala to the days. I request Dr. Rahul Sharma to present a token of her affection to our distinguished guest. I invite Ms. Sheba Anish, the nurse at Apollo at Lux Hospital, who has been gardener, gardening across for her timely intervention recently, which saved someone's life. I request Dr. Sharma to present a token of our love to our valued guest. Thank you, Rahul, sir. I would now like to invite Sri K. Jay Kumar, President of Adakartavayal Panjaya, to the stage. I invite Sri Shaiju P.S., Inspector of Police at Mulunturuti Police Station to the dais. And I also welcome Sri Ashish M., Fifth Ward Member of Fifth Ward of Adakartavayal Panjaya, to the stage. I now invite Dr. Rahul Sharma, Registrar of CVB, to deliver the welcome thanks. Welcome to our address. <clears throat> Hello. Good evening, all of you. It is a matter of great pleasure. We are organizing a NSS clinic solving problem camp. So in this occasion, I welcome our chief guest today, Mission Chief Guest, Dr. Vinan M. Paul, IPS DGP and retired Chief Information Commissioner of Kerala Government and member of Legislative Assembly Kerala, Advocate Anup Jacob and our Vice Chancellor, Professor Ajay Kapoor Sahib and distinguished guest, faculty member, staff member. So it is a matter of great pleasure we are organizing this program. Prior to that, I want to some elaborate regarding the, our university. We have DIM University, Chinmaya Vish Vidyapit, and we are established in the 2017. So presently, we are operating from two campus. One is Ernakulam, Kerala, and second from Maharashtra. Pune campus. So we are running different type of courses. We have six faculties, six departments, five from this campus and one from the Pune campus. So as far as the course concerned, we have a lot of courses in different diverse area. We have literature course like BA Sanskrit, MA Sanskrit. We have a psychology course, BSc psychology, MSc psychology. We have new innovative course public governance, public policy and governance. So have different type of courses. So as far as the NSS concern, this is a major initiative of the government of India. And we have established a unit in this university. So 
whenever this nss started in 1969 there is number of volunteer but after the initiative of government of india youth and family youth ministry so now we have 4 million volunteer so today initiative is a part of this this is exposure of student during their student life to the public community and serve the society so in way we are organizing this clinic and to solving the problem so i congratulate to the nss unit of cvv for organizing this is such a nice clinic or initiative thank you uh, once again i warm welcome to the our guest of this uh, to conducting in this uh, program thank you thank you sir for your warm words of welcome i would now like to invite our respected vice chancellor professor dr ajay kapoor to deliver the presidential address thank you very much indeed and first of all i like to welcome my distinguished guests who have made time from their busy schedule to come and bless this launching and this clinic and i'll also like to welcome my colleagues who are here or dean or registrar faculty and finally i'll also like to welcome my students who are a crucial part in making this initiative a success now what does it do so aaj bam those who are from kerala will understand it it's determination so what they are saying is that if you are determined you can achieve various things coming from a very spiritual organization we know that in the world ups are there and downs are there when downs are there you need people support and that support is very good for the person who is going through a bit of difficulty because then somebody else from community can come and help out and that is what this is going to do in fact it is also very good for the person who is helping in our case or faculty and or students so once you are helping somebody else you begin to see the larger purpose of life the much bigger picture of the universe and then you also begin to learn a lot of humility you begin to learn a lot of other things in life which generally you would not have understood so i will like to congratulate my students and my faculty in thinking about this and putting it all together i am told that hard work was done by our students in single handedly putting it all together so let us all clap for our students first our faculty who are very very dedicated to these kind of causes and one of them is here who is trying to still manage come here and uh, let us and this is as we all know is only one of her initiatives there are many more things in which she is involved and she actually thrives on this anybody in the community going through a problem pains her more than i think anybody else i know so wonderful to do that very good the purpose is that anybody can go on to this system if they are going through any problem financial problem personal problem psychological problem anything they can post a little note about it our colleagues our students will go meet with that person and will try to find a solution they will try to help it what wonderful way to grow as a student into an adult by helping others so well done in thinking conceptualizing and actually making this whole thing work i'll stop here and i like to welcome our mla and all other distinguished guests who are with us on the dais today thank you thank you sir for shedding more light on today's event light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity to make this event a blessed one we invoke the goddess saraswati's blessing by kindling the lamp of knowledge and wisdom 
I invite our blessed, uh, our chief guest, Advocate Anup Jacob, MLA, to inaugurate the event by lightning, lighting of the, of the lamp. I request the other esteemed guests on the stage to join in. I would thank you everyone. I wish to say a few words about our chief guest. Sri Anup Jacob currently serves as the MLA for Piravam constituency. He also served as the Minister for Food and Civil Supplies Kerala government earlier. Sri Jacob is an alumnus of Kerala Law Academy Law College Sirvanantapuram and is a practicing law lawyer at the Kerala High Court. It might also interest many of you to know that he was a student of English literature in his undergraduate days. Anup sir, I request you to inaugurate CVV's newest initiative, Arjabam, and to address the gathering. The yoga thing addition, Dr. Ajay Kapoor, Rude Vishishtadidi, Dr. Vincent M. Paul, Dr. Rahul Sharma, Sri M.K. Sri K.R. Jayavumar, Sri Shaiju P.S., Sri Ashish, Dr. Rahul Sharma, Meenakshi Nayar, Shiba Anish, Matala Bhumanri Sinehidri. In the Chinmele, Arjava Mena, the Pada Diode, Ulkarna Mana, Narata Purna, and one of the very two weeks here in the Arjava Mena, the NSSA Vade, Pradibadi Chadwale. So, the person until Dr. Rahul Adeham was Suji Pichuole, Nalpa the Lakshum Alka Rula volunteers will love will you Sangadane I NSSMR Irigian. Very good in the Namur Rajate, a two million voluntary service organization at NSS in the Mukanan Kiri. Yana College Padigan Sametum, NSS in a Bahamai, Provartikan graduate with the Anna. And in the school, some of the okay, and the letter of work and will you and you know the Kutil get two Nalari dealer with the Artilka, Samuho, my chair, Nilkan Gariana, Ruvilia Kadagama, the Margian. He initiative in the two million Pradani Menula Jenangalade Pudua, a personal Manasila can a Midabadan in Kariana, or Ashe Manada. Found on a very other rare right to initiative on other Namude, E. University in an Adam Gurikina, and was which became like. NSS matter, NSS is the name, my tennis is units on the Indavan, the Lai Nolan. Yanum, you want NSS programs in Bangladesh on Englum. Iterthirula or scheme, Adi Matana, Kelkanida either. For Arjavam in the Peril than the other Ulpatunda, Ella Vishanga, Nima Vermaya, Ashangal, 
അതല്ല എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് പേഴ്സണലായിട്ട് വരുന്ന ഇഷ്യൂസ് സോഷ്യൽ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് അങ്ങനെ ഏത് കാര്യങ്ങളും ഈ ഒരു മേഖലയുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് വരുന്നത് ഇതിൻ്റെ വോളണ്ടിയേഴ്സുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് അല്ല അവർ ചെല്ലുന്നു ഇടപെടുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അത് വലിയൊരു മാറ്റത്തിലേക്കുള്ള ചുവടുവെപ്പാണ് സാധാരണ എൻ എസ് എസ് വോളണ്ടിയറി സർവീസ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പം ക്ലീനിങ്ങും അതുപോലുള്ള ബ്ലഡ് ഡൊണേഷൻ ക്യാമ്പ്സ് അതൊക്കെയാണ് റുട്ടീനായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്ന പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് ഞാനിപ്പം ഞാൻ സാധാരണ ഒരു എം എൽ എ എന്ന നിലയിൽ നമ്മുടെ ഈ കോൺസ്റ്റുവൻസിയിലെ മിക്ക സ്കൂളുകളിലും കോളേജിലും എൻ എസ് എസ് പ്രോഗ്രാംസിൽ പോകുന്ന ആളാണ് അതിൽ പോകുന്ന എല്ലാം ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള പരിപാടികളിലാണ് അപ്പം ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് ഒരു വ്യത്യസ്തമായ ഒരു ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് ആയൊരു പ്രോഗ്രാമിൽ വരാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞത് ഞാൻ പ്രത്യേകം അഭിനന്ദിക്കുകയാണ് അനുമോദിക്കുകയാണ് കാരണം ഈ ആശയം അത് എല്ലായിടത്തേക്കും എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് പല മറ്റ് ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസിനും ഇത് അവർക്കിത് എടുക്കാൻ കഴിയുന്ന നല്ലൊരു ആശയമാണെന്ന് എനിക്ക് തോന്നിപ്പോവുകയാണ് എന്തായാലും എല്ലാ അഭിനന്ദനങ്ങളും നല്ല രീതിയിൽ ഇത് മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകാനും ജനങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രയോജനപ്രദമാവാനും ഒക്കെ കഴിയട്ടെ എന്ന് ഞാൻ ആശംസിക്കുന്നു ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു ഞാൻ ദീർഘമായ വാക്കുകളിലേക്കും പ്രസംഗത്തിലേക്കും ഒന്നും കടന്നു പോകുന്നില്ല ഇതിനോടനുബന്ധിച്ച് ഇവിടെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട ഡോക്ടർ വിൻസെൻ്റം പോലുണ്ട് അദ്ദേഹം മുഖ്യ പ്രാസംഗികനാണ് ഇവിടെ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അദ്ദേഹമൊക്കെ ഇതുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട അനവധി കാര്യങ്ങൾ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും ഇവിടെ പ്രതിപാദിക്കും അപ്പം തന്നെ ഷീബ അനീഷ് ഇവിടെ വേദിയിലുണ്ട് ഞാൻ ഷീബയെ ഞാൻ ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് കാണുന്നത് പത്രത്തിൽ കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ ഞാൻ ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചിരുന്നു അങ്കമാലി ലിറ്റിൽ ഫ്ലവറിലല്ലേ ബുക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അവിടെ ഒരാൾക്ക് പെട്ടെന്ന് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുണ്ടായപ്പം ബസ്സിൽ വെച്ചാണ് കൊഴിഞ്ഞു വീണെന്ന് തോന്നുന്നു ബസ്സിൽ വീണ് കൊഴിഞ്ഞു വീണ ഒരാളെ സി പി ആർ നൽകി എമർജൻസി ആയിട്ട് റെസ്ക്യൂ ചെയ്യാൻ മറ്റുള്ള എല്ലാവരും മാറി നിന്നപ്പോൾ നമുക്കറിയാലോ നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിൽ ഒരാൾ ആക്സിഡന്റ് വീണ് കിടന്നാൽ ഒരാൾ കൊഴിഞ്ഞു വീണാൽ അങ്ങോട്ട് അടുക്കാൻ പോലും ആൾക്കാർ മടിക്കും പക്ഷെ ഷീബ അവസരോചിതമായി ഉയർന്ന് അയാളെ രക്ഷിച്ചത് ഞാൻ പത്രത്തിൽ അത് എല്ലാ പേപ്പേഴ്സിലും ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു നമ്മുടെ റീജിയണൽ പേപ്പേഴ്സിലും നാഷണൽ മീഡിയാസും ഒക്കെ വലിയ പ്രാധാന്യത്തോടെയാണ് ഷീബയുടെ ആ ഒരു പ്രവർത്തനത്തെ പ്രശംസിച്ചത് സോഷ്യൽ മീഡിയയിലും ഷീബ വളരെയേറെ ഞാൻ ഷീബയോട് താഴെ കണ്ടപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ എവിടെയോ മുഖം കണ്ടും മറന്നു പോയല്ലോ എന്ന് ഞാൻ ഓർത്തു ഇപ്പം ഈ ഇവിടെ തന്നെയുള്ള സ്റ്റുഡൻ്റ് ആയിരിക്കും എന്നാണ് ഞാൻ ആദ്യം ചിന്തിച്ചത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്റ്റാഫ് ആയിരിക്കും ചിന്തിച്ചു പിന്നീടാണ് മനസ്സിലായത് ഇന്ന ആളാണ് ഇത് എന്നത് എന്തായാലും കാണാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് ഷീബയെ പ്രത്യേകം അഭിനന്ദിക്കുന്നു ഷീബയുടെ ഒരു വലിയ അവസരോചിതമായ ഇടപെടൽ ഒരു മനുഷ്യൻ്റെ ജീവൻ രക്ഷിച്ചു എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഒരു മനുഷ്യൻ്റെ ജീവൻ രക്ഷിക്കാൻ കഴിയുകയാണ് ചെറിയ കാര്യമല്ലാതെ അപ്പോൾ ആപ്റ്റ് ടൈമിൽ നമ്മൾ പലപ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ അമാന്തിക്കും നമ്മൾ പലപ്പോഴും ഒരു എമർജൻസി സിറ്റുവേഷനിൽ നമ്മൾ പലപ്പോഴും ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മൾ വെറും കാഴ്ചക്കാരായി മാറുകയാണ് അത് ആരുടെയും കുറ്റോ കുറവോ അല്ല അത് പലപ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ അതിന് വി ആർ നോട്ട് ട്രെയിൻ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് അതാണ് അതിൻ്റെ മെയിൻ പ്രോബ്ലം നമ്മൾ നമുക്കതിനെ കുറിച്ച് എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം എന്നതിനെ സംബന്ധിച്ച് നമുക്ക് യാതൊരു ഐഡിയ ഉണ്ടാവുകയില്ല ഒരു എമർജൻസി സിറ്റുവേഷനിൽ നമ്മൾ കാഴ്ചക്കാരായി നിൽക്കുന്ന അവസരങ്ങളുണ്ട് ഞാൻ പെട്ടെന്ന് ഓർത്തു പോകണേ ഒരു സമരത്തിൻ്റെ സമയത്ത് എൻ്റെ ഫാദർ പെട്ടെന്ന് കൊഴിഞ്ഞു പോകുന്നു പുള്ളിക്കാൻ ചെറിയൊരു ഹാർട്ട് പ്രോബ്ലം ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടായ സമയമാണ് ഇപ്പോഴല്ല ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ബാക്ക് ഇൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് അപ്പം അവിടെ അദ്ദേഹം നടന്നു പോയി സമരത്തിൻ്റെ ഇടയ്ക്ക് വെച്ച് പോലീസുമായിട്ടൊരു ചെറിയ കൺഫ്രണ്ടേഷൻ വന്നു അപ്പം പെട്ടെന്ന് പുള്ളി അവിടെ കൊളാപ്സ്ഡായി ഈ കൊളാപ്സ്ഡായി കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ചുറ്റോടും ചുറ്റും ആൾക്കാർ വന്ന് നിപ്പുണ്ട് അദ്ദേഹം അവിടെ ഇരിക്കുകയാണ് റോഡ് സൈഡിൽ ഇരിക്കുകയാണ് ഞാനും അടുത്തിരിപ്പുണ്ട് അപ്പം അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് ചുറ്റും എല്ലാ ലീഡേഴ്സും ഉണ്ട് പോലീസുകാരും ഒക്കെ നിൽപ്പുണ്ട് എല്ലാവരും ഞാൻ നോക്കി നിൽക്കുകയാണ് അപ്പം ആർക്കും എന്ത് ചെയ്യണമെന്നറിയില്ല അപ്പം അപ്പം ഞാൻ അവിടെ ഇരുന്ന് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ആ കാറ് വിളിക്കുക അപ്പോൾ റോഡ് മുഴുവൻ ബ്ലോക്കാണ് അവിടെ ഈ സമരത്തിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് റോഡ് ബ്ലോക്കാണ് പോലീസുമായിട്ട് വലിയൊരു കൺഫ്രണ്ടേഷനിൽ ഇരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ടെൻസ്ഡ് സിറ്റുവേഷനാണ് അവിടെ അപ്പം എല്ലാവരും ഇങ്ങനെ വട്ടത്തിൽ നിൽപ്പുണ്ട് എല്ലാവരും ആ പുള്ളിയെ നോക്കിയിപ്പുണ്ട് ഞാനും പുള്ളിയുടെ അടുത്തിരിപ്പുണ്ട് അപ്പം ഞാൻ അവിടെ പറയുന്നുണ്ട് ഒരു കാറ് വിളിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ കാറ് വിളിക്കണം ഞാൻ പറയുമ്പോൾ എല്ലാവരും എന്നെ തന്നെ നോക്കിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് പിന്നെ ഞാൻ തന്നെ ഓടിപ്പോയി അന്ന് മൊബൈൽ ഫോൺ അത്ര അവൈലബിൾ അല്ല ആ സമയത്ത് മൊബൈൽ ഫോണിൻ്റെ
I also request Sri Anoop Jacob to facilitate our special guest, Ms. An Shiba Anish, for her extraordinary act of selflessness and responsibility. I would like to invite Sri K. Jay Kumar, President of Adaikatwail Krama Panchayat, to say a few words. Prayerata Yoga Dinde Adhishan, ye chadangne udkaran jeda dukhmana bata yamalle adoke tanub jeke mun DGP. See Vinsalam Polsar Sarvagala Sarayude Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Dean, Mate Yude in the Namada Lavrum, Priya Etum Woodal, Sneka Tolagan, the Prepata Sheba, Prepata Wadam Barsi Ashish, Etum Prepata Bindu Madam, Mate Premula, Adia Bagare, Prepata Vidyardi Surtigre Namade Yudu Pudia Clinic. I am big on the idea psychology bhaga in the end of the subhago my chair no wonder are Joe men the very day would put the clinic car and become the vibe and the pata for a discussion in a program in a cruise in the madam for a end number day general day never the idol of a shingle some okay up for single in our day victim of my personal it could take a look at our kid about it or a counseling so high and will put over chase over the country in the Orang Kadai itu satu samethan yang diluar eh undaga itu barang yang itu wajib untuk kajian tu niya. Pada senyosha tu orang ini nanti seperti ni anu muka kita. Namun kerana manusia ni ada dua cebium, orang naib orang itu kudel kelkan um kuracu parayiwan mana ini parayar. Kalau pada nama kita semua orang kudel parayiya, ayer kum parayi itu nama kita kelkan. Ketujuh bishengal, nama kita pas samiam cile algal phone cie itu, jatri itu, mana ada wajib um. Paling ramai mana phone jaya orang. Jadi apa abad ini video ini perbincangan agak. Makal deh bagat dan dah guna tikta ini bawang. Alih ramai deh bagat, bertaya ini mada ini bagat, alih bertaya ini bagat snek ini lagi mana. Paling perbincangan itu, nama kita terakkan. Nama kita dalam kelakkan dah ini bijar ini cerita pol abad ini banyak perbincangan. Jadi ada perbincangan nama kita kelakkan samai yang kita. Nama kita anjir minit itu samai yang nama kita mati baca. Aduh orang ini jiwa dan mati pergi apa. Terus ayam kudel kelakkan. Kurang sahaja pikiran itu mukadiam. Abadi deh, wajah ni pikiran itu wakil kelkan orang manusia mukun dia itu ni perlu perasan orang beri cara orang. Pangan eh kelkan orang manusia mai nama kita kutikal. Ibu deh, priya pertama mana lebaran ni, yang nasib sendu beri ini mana beli orang kaji cepat. Semua kat ini neira ya di sini lekang naik nama nagri ikan na nallam udara wakil orang mai. Widyarthi semua kat ini budiah nudena mai kaji cepat um dicuci bodoh unda kena. Etu mudah tu maya. Orang perwatahan itu ni faham mana nasib sendiri. Ah, orang nasib semua ini cerdik orang orang apa kena? Yang arjawa mana peribadi itu de? Terus ia ini berada yang perlu tu na ini konsili. Nampun dah ada le, utere yang algal ke sakai ramah gitu, utere yang algal le beredar gitu, ninjod jarak beri kian, atau panggil terdekuan. Abang itu kuda terkait itu bagai ramah. Jiwa itu lekce bodoh mana agan orang ini, abang itu mati terdekuan. Orang perempat perta, widyarthi orang kerja itu yang itu semua itu ada asam si cundu. Ada kadal penjaya itu sama dengan itu orang. Ia kampus, ia universiti, ia nadi ni apa mana? Tiada perbincangan ini. Namun kami mana kerana ini telah utara net tenggel ke. Karena pudam ayah, urus serugala sari udah asstanam. Ini beri anak ini parayindu dene. Namun kami mana? Terusnya ayam ini perasaan itu, ini perwatahan itu. Ia mana mungkin anda orang itu? Ini de pinil perwatahan itu. Ia beri kerdeyam dorang na benda dicuci. Ini de wakil usaha ni pikanu nanti namaskar.
Thank you, sir. I would like to invite Shri Ashish M, um, fifth board member of fifth ward, Edgar Dwyer, to address the gathering. I yoga the addition, sir. Mujhe ulkhadagan MLA mujhe snayam naranya vedilam sadan silimiri kuna sordegale. National Service Scheme in the Puripudia Union to Ricardo, Adabora, Namada Puripudia Sam Jambo, Namada University and Rigarichu under RMB Kuyan. E. Covid in the Vishama Katadil, Namoda Pum, Banamagariam, but a vaccine with the Renatil and Gilum, Podusamo Hatoda Pum, Provarti Javarana, Namada University with the article National Service Scheme in the Provartagar, Avaria Dailum. E. Pudia Samdam Dodangum Voltirchi item Adum Vain Vijay Magamanula Gaidri, other Samshu Milla, E. Covid vaccine, Vidranadilla, Era Munera, Namukasadi, Namada University Campus, Namakuit, the Mulum, Adwara than Namada, Pudjangal Kaitur, and the Mulum, Adwara than Vidate National Service Scheme in Le Kutilda Sahar Nogun Matramana, Nogueva Tilamuka. E vaccination Yatnam, E Nartil Porti Riku and Sadicha, Adani Nartle Mulvan General Dame, Nani, I was E. Osra Ariguno, E. Pudia Sam Dembatinum, Mulvan, Pauman Narnunda, the Nedrutan Alguna, Namada Bindu Martin, Ella with the Asham Solon Narnunda, Nartunu, Naninus. Thank you, Mr. I wish to say a few words about our next guest. Dr. Vincent M. Paul. A former DGP, he also served as a Chief Information Commissioner of Kerala, also well, well as the Director, Vigilance and Anti-Corruption Bureau. An IPS officer of 1984 batch, Dr. Vincent M. Paul has a 31-year-long career in state police and has headed various teams that probe some sensational cases. Vincent, sir, I request you to deliver the key note address, DSC Vivians and guests. Uh, sir, I request Dr. Srivatsa Kumar, uh, Dean Academics of Chinmay Vishwa Vidhyapi, to present a token of our affection to Vincent, sir, on behalf of the whole of CVV. President of this function, Professor Dr. J. Kapoor, Advocate Anub Jacob, who inaugurated the session, dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, my dear students. I have been told to speak in English because I am told that probably a number of students present over here, they are not conversant with Malayalam. Uh, let me also clarify that I, I should thank the university for conferring a doctorate on me. I am neither a doctor nor a doctorate. I am plain Vincent and Paul. Uh, I would always consider that probably college life is the most enjoyable period in one's life. A period which you will probably never get back. Uh, but at the same time, when you enjoy this particular life, there are certain things that you are supposed to do. There are certain social responsibilities which you are expected to fulfill. And probably the NSS is one platform where you would be able to discharge those social responsibilities. And I always think that basically as students, you should leave a stamp of your own. When we go away from this world, somebody should say that, yes, there was so-and-so who has done this thing for this particular world. It's not that we should uh, always uh, think of achieving positions where everybody would respect us. There may be small little things which each one of us in society 
would be able to do. Uh, we may not become the president of the country so that everybody would know uh, what all good things that we are doing. Even if you are doing, even if you are a professor in a college or you are doing some other work in the society, people around you should say that, yes, there is a genuine human being. Basically, what we, oh, uh, what we forget in this life is that we forget to live like a real, genuine human being. I think probably that is one thing we should aspire to uh, become. And again, John F. Kennedy, once he told the youngsters that, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do, do for your country. Basically, all of us would say that, what is this particular government doing? They are not doing anything for us. What is this university doing? There are a number of things which should be attended to. Yes, they, these are all correct. But at the same time, I should not forget that there are certain things which I am expected to do in this university, in this campus, in the society around me. And that is what we are expected to do along with our studies in the university. And uh, the NSS motto, it's very clearly written, it is not me, but you. That shows basically what is important is selfless service. Again, it's indicated that uh, in the Bhagavad Gita that uh, we should not look for the result of the action. Supposing you stand by your principles, don't bother whether the right things would come to you. It would automatically come to you. I always feel that when you are standing by truth, when you are standing by the right things in life, uh, all else would come in line. You don't have to wait for the result or you don't have to see whether the result which I expected as a result of my action would come. It would automatically come. It would come maybe this year, this month, maybe 10 years later, but it would definitely come to you. And uh, uh, again, most of us think that basically I as an individual, what can I do for the society? How can I make a change in the society? If all of us think in this particular fashion, we will never be able to make any change in society. We can definitely make a change in society. That doctor, she also could have traveled in the bus probably saying that what am I expected to do here? But she somehow saw that this is my duty cast upon me. I am a competent person who can uh, revive the life of a person. And she rose to that particular occasion, and that is why we felicitate her here. So each one of us can always find opportunities for doing the right things in society or for uh, serving the society. When you say that, uh, basically we say that uh, students have got a lot of social responsibilities in life. When we say that we how social responsibilities, it means that we are accountable for fulfilling certain civic responsibilities that are cast, up, cast on us. And we will definitely be able to do it, particularly when we associate ourselves, when we find some time to uh, discharge our social responsibilities by way of associating with organizations like the NSS. Uh, Again, I always consider that education is the most important thing. You here as students in the campus, you are ex expected to study. But at the same time, I don't know. Basically, I may be slightly outdated or I may be uh, slightly more frank or blunt when I say that what I find in today's students is that basically when there is a small setback in life, you feel that everything is lost. In fact, when we were studying in the 10th standard, there was nobody to counsel us uh, in case we were to get a defeat in the, or failure in the exam. We just took it in that stride. But these days, there are several counseling, uh, counseling agencies. There are certain numbers published by the government in case parents find that their children are not uh, keeping okay, they should bring up this particular number. 
I don't know. I think that particular attitude should change. We know that a small student, a small child, when he tries to stand on his own, he may not be able to do that. He might fall down several times. He, it may be aching, but still he tries to stand on his legs. Once he finds that he can stand on his legs, he starts walking. When he knows he can walk, he would start running. Yes, that should be the approach in life. In fact, Steve Jones, the, uh, Jobs, when uh, uh, on one occasion he said that sometimes life might hit you with a brick and that is to bring back you into this particular world. Maybe you are living in a dreamy, uh, you are living in a dreamy world. So these kinds of setbacks will show you that this is life. Without sorrows, without certain setbacks, life is meaningless, I would say. We would be able to enjoy life. We would be able to realize the real meaning of happiness only if there are certain setbacks in life. Basically, these are lessons which would teach you that you should what uh, course you had taken was wrong and you should take a different course altogether. So uh, never be carried away or never get disheartened when you face setbacks in life. These basically from setbacks, you should uh, gain more energy and uh, make up new challenge and uh, new decisions, determinations in life and go ahead. That alone would keep, make you successful in life. And that is why now the people say that what is more important is not it is what is more important in life or in education is EQ and not IQ. IQ is really important, but at the same time, in case you like an emotional quotient, probably there is something great that you're missing in life. When there are challenges thrown to you, you should be able to face them in, uh, in life. In the civil service exam, people used to say that in the interview, when you go up the, uh, go to, into the UPSC room, some of the professors of uh, interview board members, they would ask you, how many steps did you climb uh, while you came into this particular room? One would be thinking, I, I forget whether I climbed 20 steps or 200 steps. One would never be able to make out. Basically, it is just to make fun of the entire thing. That is, basically, your intelligence has been tested in the written examination or in the preliminary exams. And what they want to now test in the interview is, if challenges are thrown to you, how will you face them? And how truthful you are. If you are beating around the bush, that clearly shows that you are not a trustworthy personality. So what is more important? What I want to stress was that basically, that emotional quotient should be given a lot of importance. Only such a leader would be able to lead those people around him. And uh, in ancient India, we know that they were following that Gurugula system. The students were leaving their comfort stone, uh, zones and uh, uh, getting themselves educated under the gurus, doing all kinds of hardships. I mean, all kinds of hard works. They never complained, saying that, why am I doing this kind of a job? Yes, at times there will be occasions where you would feel that why is it that despite all my qualifications, despite all my hard work, why is it that still I am facing uh, certain failures in life or defeats in life? That's a part of life and one has to take it uh, that way without uh, that kind of a uh, giving up mentality. And uh, NSS probably gives you a lot of opportunities for all volunteering. As I said earlier, supposing that now the vice chancellor tells you to do this particular thing, another faculty member tells you to do something else, there you would be meeting or fulfilling the academic curriculum, academic uh, requirements that are expected from you. But on your own, you would be able to achieve certain things in life. And that is where the organizations like the NSS would provide ample 
uh, arena for you. And again, in this world, probably the more we get educated, I at times feel that we become very narrow-minded. Earlier, uh, one person would sit in the class. He never used to bother whether his friend was a Muslim or a Hindu or a Christian. But these days, people become very conscious and probably think in terms of those things. I never knew how many SESC students were there in my class. But these days, one becomes conscious as to whether he is an SEST or whether I belong to the general category. Why are we making these kinds of things as we rise in education, as we acquire more uh, educational qualifications, we should be able to become more broad-minded instead of becoming narrow-minded. But probably some of the things that we see around us uh, compels me to arrive at a conclusion that probably something has gone wrong somewhere, but I am an optimist. I always believe that if there is a thesis, there will be an anti antithesis, and finally there will be a synthesis. It's only a question of time when things would be questioned, and finally you would uh, arrive at the uh, right decision. And uh, another thing is political coexistence. Now, in the high courts, a number of high courts indicated that political campaigning should not be allowed on the campus. I am neither for political campaigning nor against that. But what I want to say is that basically, even if there is political, uh, political education in the campuses, there should be certain amount of, there, there should be a certain line beyond which we should not allow it to get into our minds in the sense that the so-called bad effects of those uh, political thoughts. When I, uh, when I say that thing, I also feel that basically the campuses should be an area where they should highlight the importance of politics in life. Because basically, the, it is the politicians who would uh, rule the country, rule our state, our country. And so we should have the right people as our representatives. For that one, I think the youngsters should not shy away from uh, exercising their franchise. They should definitely do that. And if possible, some of you should come up in politics so that you can make a change even in politics. We say that it's all corrupt, yes. If we only keep on lamenting about corruption, ultimately nothing is going to change. So in case you want to bring about a change in politics, naturally the right people should occupy uh, chairs of importance. Then environmental protection. That's again another important area. Early we used to think that why should we unnecessarily bother about uh, ecology? But these days, a lot of people say that if we go ahead with these kinds of activities, some of the low-lying areas will no longer be there. Even our Cochin will be under the waters after 30, 40 years, that's what they say. Even the kind of climatic changes that we experience now, which were never heard maybe 15, 20 years back. And again, with regard to environmental protection also, uh, probably I always would consider that uh, plastic bottles where we buy mineral water, that is one of the biggest menaces. Because each one after drinking one bottle of water would throw it away wherever he finds a place. Or whenever we want to go for shopping, we always carry polythene bags. We never take the pain of carrying our own bag and then uh, getting things loaded into that uh, bag which I carry. So these are small little things each one can do to improve the environment around us. Or on the campus, probably you can plant a tree and look after that tree till you leave the campus. And probably by the time you leave the campus, the tree would uh, start bearing fruits or give shades to others, give out a lot of oxygen for all the uh, students who come to the campus. 
So you will have to find out your own ways. Uh, these are some of the areas where you can leave a stamp of your own. Probably you can even leave a name of uh, your name for that particular tree so that uh, after 10 years or 15 years, you come back to the campus and you can say with uh, pride that, yes, this is the tree. This was the tree planted by me and I'm happy to see that thing or uh, giving fruits to others. Again, water conservation. Yeah, in the campus, we always feel that there is plenty of water. Why should I bother about uh, closing a tap? Yes, uh, probably now people say that the next world war would be for water. So we will have to conserve water and uh, it's precious. Only when we live in an area where water is scarce, we realize the importance of water. And uh, I would again uh, invite your attention to corruption. The Transparency International, which conducts surveys every year, uh, going by their survey, India's position remains almost the same. India hasn't improved much with regard to fighting corruption. Uh, are we not we are we not responsible for fostering or uh, allowing corruption to linger? Supposing that I want to get certain things done in the village office or elsewhere in any other public office. I wouldn't mind shelling out uh, 100 or 500 rupees from my pocket. But there indirectly you are encouraging corruption. In the sense that basically a person who goes to that public office with the intention of getting his rightful service, if it's a service which you are not entitled to legally, then you can't get it. But in case you are getting your rightful services from a public, public office, they are paid for that. The public servants are paid for that. So why should I again grease the hands of that public servant? I shouldn't. Even if it's 10 rupees or uh, 10 crores, I should never be resorting to that kind of an evil. And as youngsters, uh, one thing I, uh, when I was working in the vigilance, I always used to say that I got a lot of faith in the new generation in the sense that they become slightly impatient, supposing that a thing has to be delivered today. They always would say that I should get it today because I am entitled to. But that kind of a feeling, that kind of uh, your rightful claim should come when it comes to these public services. Even if your friend is in need of certain public service, you should be able to tell him that you are entitled for that thing and you should get it. And probably others around you in society who may not have any voice in society, you would be able to help them in getting those services. Another area is drug abuse. I was actually shocked when I heard from a police friend of mine who told me that in the schools and colleges in the city areas, probably 50 percent of the students are using drugs. I don't say they are addicted to drugs, but they are using drugs. And in the newspapers, we read almost every day that uh, so many kgs of ganja or some of the chemical drugs have been captured by the excise by the police. I think it has become a fashion. Probably we think that uh, uh, by taking drugs, we should be able to get over the so-called uh, difficult things in life. One would never be able to get over that. There are some people who would say that if I take two, three pegs or liquor, I would be drown my sorrows. <laughs> but actually, I think you would be, if you want to take drinks, take drinks, but uh, never find excuses for taking drinks. But the problem with the drugs is that once you start taking drugs, you would never be able to say no to that when you really want to say no. And you are not only really spoiling your own life. I would say that you are not spoiling. I would use a different way. You are actually destroying your life. You are destroying your own life 
destroying the life lives of your family members and those people around you and setting a very bad example to the friends who are with you basically you may be using or experimenting drugs just for the heck of that thing i am just experimenting because my friends are telling me i would always say that when you hold on to certain principles certain beliefs in life you should have the courage to say no to certain things in life i think that is never free pre pressure it's it only reflects your weakness that you are not able to say no to certain things that big no should be clearly specified when it comes to these kinds of things and if there is a friend of yours who is accidentally he has become addicted to drugs somehow try to save him out of that thing you would be uh, doing a great service to your friend to his family and to the society at large then uh, gender equality earlier i think we used to have women's colleges uh, gents college i actually i when i started after my pg i was teaching in the only men's or boys college in kerala that is st alberts now it's a mixed college i always used to wonder uh, one one thing is that basically when you are a mixed college my personal belief is that your personality development is much better i would be able to treat my colleague as my sister as my friend and in case she is facing certain problems i should be able to rush to her help i uh, help but these days maybe again on account of the things that we see through the social media applications i think uh, one one tries to experiment uh, those things in life but you should always remember that by doing that thing you are uh, doing a thing which is not expected because basically the very fact that you are doing in a very very secretive manner itself shows that basically you know what you are doing is incorrect in case i am doing the right thing i can always keep my head direct and tell the society that i am doing this thing i don't have to shy away from the society or do it in a secretive manner so that itself shows that you know that you are doing the wrong thing so you should never be doing that thing supposing that somebody were to do that one to my sister to my mother my uh, family member will i tolerate that i will not so i would always say that there is a lakshman rekha and you should draw the line where you should where, where you know it should be drawn uh these days again we know in the corporate sector they attach a lot of importance on corporate social responsibility now there is a, another concept which is emerging which is called the individual social responsibility like in a corporate or like in the corporate sector each individual in the society has to fulfill certain social obligations and some of the corporates i think a large number of the corporates these days they ask their employees to do certain amount of corporate social responsibility it is not just alone contributing uh, 10 rupees or 100 rupees a month you will have to go out into the field maybe in the rural areas you will have to uh, work among poor children or the less privileged ones so that their lot is slightly improved at least that gives you an opportunity to see what is life outside my campus what is life outside my environment my so called comfortable environment uh i would always uh, say that when you discharge your social responsibilities your aim should be to when i die i should be able to leave this world a better place for the coming generations i have actually inherited this environment from my forefathers they have given it to me now my responsibility is to see that 
when I hand it over to the next generation, it should be a slightly better place so that my future generations would uh, again uh, thank me for that. And uh, uh, face challenges in life with confidence. Only a person with uh, moral confidence would be able to uh, face challenges here and there. In, in fact, uh, when I was in the police department, there were occasions when I even thought of resigning from the uh, service. At least the Keralaites would know that there was a famous case by name Paul Muthud murder case. The entire media in Kerala stated that what uh, the investigating team was indicating was totally incorrect. Basically, a Gundai gang, which was going for some other purpose, would kill and a totally, in, uh, uh, totally strange person altogether, a big businessman by name Paul Muthuit. But crime has no logic. It just happened like that. And uh, people used to ask me that uh, you are probably bowing to political pressure. But the uh, thing is that you, as a civil servant, you don't have the opportunity to go to the media and say, this is what's right. You will have to probably suffer it yourself. But the only thing is that I always used to tell others that basically, if you're doing the right thing, if you're doing the truthful thing, that truth would come out one day or the other. Towards the end of my career, uh, there was again another case called the bar bribery case. There also, it was indicated that I was trying to save the then government in power. Several people, several officers who indicated that basically he has uh, succumbed to political pressure. They tried to charge hit that particular case. They couldn't. Uh, in fact, I always would say that I know some of the officers, some of the junior level officers, like uh, state level officers, like the DYSPs, they were even uh, forced to charge hit that particular case. They had the courage to say no. That shows that basically I should be saluting such officers. I used to always tell uh, senior IPS officers that they have the courage to say uh, no to certain things in the sense that I would only take the right course of action. So setbacks will be there in life, but uh, what keeps you going is when you are able to keep your head direct and say what I have done is the right thing. As human beings, always we might commit mistakes. I might have committed a lot of mistakes without uh, the uh, without any clear indication of uh, doing a wrongful thing. I mean, when I say that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I would, I have at least openly, I can say that now there will not be any case against me. But I have assaulted people. But now I know that uh, assaulting a Criminal is also totally incorrect. But at times, you would be unknowingly resorting to those kinds of things. Maybe in the sudden impulsive uh, reaction, you might assault uh, somebody. I mean, it's not uh, assaulting somebody to death or making him totally incapacitated, but kind of humiliation to him. But I know that those people who have received those blows from me, they would never find a faulting finger at me. They would still say that, yes, uh, probably I overreacted, but they would never say that I have done that thing, how I had done that thing, either uh, for serving certain political purposes or for helping somebody else. So your conscience should be clean. That's what I always believe that. And uh, as students, when you see injustices in society, you should be able to raise your voice. That alone would uh, make a change in society. In fact, I'm sorry, I probably overshot my time. Uh, I would end my talk by quoting, not quoting, by citing the example of KFC founder Sanders. He was a person you know, KFC, probably you would have been eating at KFC centers. Uh, he was a person who
who lost his father at the age of six. And he got a job in the army, that again by manipulating his uh, birth certificate. Again, he was thrown out of several jobs on account of his haughtiness. Ultimately, he had no money when he retired. At the age of 65, he thought of starting something. Uh, he had prepared that recipe, KFC recipe, preparing roasted chicken. But it was indicated that 1,009 times his recipe was rejected. He went from one person to another, but nobody accepted that. Probably when he, not probably, when he died at the age of 90, he had a large number of KFC net, I mean, outlets in several countries. Now they say that around 200 countries are selling KFC products and uh, around 20,000 outlets are there. Probably he was a person who thought of even committing suicide in life. He said there is no other way than committing suicide. But he said to himself, let me give it one more shot and find out whether I would be able to pull on. And that is the person. So whenever you face challenges in life, these, there are a large number of personalities who have shown us the way and you should be able to follow that. And ultimately, I would tell you students that when you pass out of this university, you should be able to make this university proud. The university should be taking pride in saying that, yes, so-and-so is my student. And that is probably the biggest service you can give to or biggest uh, gratitude you would be able to do to this university and the uh, gratitude which or the service which the university would be able to uh, give to the students is mold them as uh, the, the best personality that you can make it. Michelangelo was asked once, uh, how do you make beautiful statues out of these rugged stones? He said, a good artist, a good sculptor would know how to chisel the certain parts which are unwanted. And ultimately, I know that this beautiful statue is inside this particular rugged stone. All that I do is I bring it out. That is the duty of the uh, faculty members here. Ultimately, they will have to out certain parts from the students and make it a uh, beauty to the eyes of all the beholders. Thank you. I wish you all the best in your life. Thank you, sir. I request Ms. Minakshi Nair to propose the word of thanks. A very good afternoon to all. On behalf of all Jinwe community, I am glad to be standing here to express my vote of thanks. I would like to extend a special thanks to our honorable chief guest of the day, Advocate Anul Jacob, member of Legislative Assembly. And thank you, sir, for praising that you have given for our job and will strive to bring up more wonderful initiative at CVV. Next, I would like to thank Vincent M. Paul, retired DGP and former Incent Information Commissioner of Kerala. Thank you, sir, for coming here in between the busy schedule to support us. And, sir, we will make our best to be a genuine human for this community. Now, I would like to thank Mr. Jay Kumar, President of Edukatuwal Panchayat Gra, who has always been there to support all our initiative with utmost enthusiasm. Thank you, sir. And also Mr. Anish M, ward member of Edakartuwal Panchayat, who have been a source of light in paving the way towards people's prosperity. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to thank Ms. Sheba Anish for being with us and for being a role model to, for all the presented here. Thank you, ma'am. Sevan and Mrs. have been doing innumerable projects in the field of education, health, cleanliness, etc. for the past few years. Arjivam being the first milestone that we are taking up to help and support social, economical, and psychological well-being of the common people. It is 
with the great pride and happiness i would like to extend my sincere gratitude and gratitude towards our pillars of strength first dr ajay kapoor vice chancellor of chinmay vishwavidyalaya peet who have all been guided always guided us in taking steps for striving the society thank you sir <laughs> professor dr shrivals kumar sir dean of academics of chinmay vishwavidyalaya peet for supporting every project that save and nss have initiated thank you sir finally dr rahul sharma registrar of chinmay vishwavidyalaya peet thank you sir for being with us here today and we will making more new great projects thank you sir now i would like to thank dr bindu mp ma'am faculty coordinator of save and nss for being the strength and support in all our project and thank you ma'am for believing in us next is to my fellow seva and nss volunteers i would like to thank them for making this initiative happen and let us try to make this a successful project and now i would like to thank media team it team for arranging all the necessary faculty facilities for us last but not the least i would like to thank our audience for being with us here today i hope everyone will be providing us with their prayers and blessings for the event and the future initiative to also thank you you with the rendition of the nss theme song i invite mr anthony joseph and his team for the same ಮಾವಟ್ಟೆ ಮದಮೇ ದಂಗಿಲ ಮಾವಟ್ಟೆ ಮಾನವಡತ್ತೆ ಚಿಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾನ್ ಕುಡು ಬಿಡರಟ್ಟೆ ಮನಸ್ಸು ನನ್ನಾವಟ್ಟೆ ಮದಮೇ ದಂಗಿಲ ಮಾವಟ್ಟೆ ಮಾನವಡತ್ತೆ ಚಿಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾನ್ ಕುಡು ಬಿಡರಟ್ಟೆ ಮನಸ್ಸು ನನ್ನಾವಟ್ಟೆ 
सौहृद सिद्धि गकूतार सौवर्णाभ परन्नार सौहृद सिद्धि गकूतार सौवर्णाभ परन्नार सुरबिल जीवि दमादुर विश्वम समस्त मरुल गयल्लो मनसु नन्नावटे मदमे दंगिल मावटे मानव रत्तिं चिल्ले इलल्ला मानपुर बिटरटे मनसु नन्नावटे सत्यम लक्ष्यम दावटे धर्मम पादे दावटे सत्यम लक्ष्यम दावटे धर्मम पादे दावटे आइंदा वक्रेश्वर इस्लाम में गुलरे कई गले नंगी रटे मनसु नन्नावटे मदमे दंगिल मावटे मानव रत्तिं चिल्ले इलल्ला मानपुर बिटरटे मनसु नन्नावटे मनसु नन्नावटे मनसु नन्नावटे I request everyone to rise for the national anthem. I would like to call upon Aparna Vinod and Avani Prakash for the same. And Sharada. जनगण मन अतिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उत्सव जलति तरंगा तव शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल नायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय जय 